Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna give you six steps you can use to be able to use fasting as a tool to balance your hormones. So this is a beginning of a series that I'm doing. We have a playlist, it's called Fasting and Hormones, so you can find all the different videos I am putting there for you guys that wanna use fasting as a tool. In this video, I'm gonna give you the big picture. What are the six things you need to think about in order to use fasting to your advantage? because you also can use fasting to your disadvantage when it comes to hormones. And as always, if you like this video, please share it out into the world. You guys are amazing. I just feel like we could change so many health situations if everybody built a fasting lifestyle. So thank you for always sharing it out. If you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. I wanna make sure that you leave my channel inspired, filled up with knowledge and ready to move into action. And really cool announcement, my print book, The Menopause Reset, with my five-step process to uh, balancing your hormones through lifestyle is now available on Amazon for pre-order for the print version, or for the, the actual hard copy version. So we put it in the notes, you can go and pre-order it. And as always, you're a miracle. I'm excited to share this information with you. Okay, so let's dive into how do you use fasting as a tool to balance your hormones. So I've got for you guys six different things you need to think about if you wanna use fasting as a part of your tool set to balance your hormones. So stick with me through all six because each one is as equally important and I haven't put them in order of importance, so you need to know all six which is why I've done a very specific video on how to use fasting as a tool for hormonal balance. So, and before I dive into all six of those, I wanna start with this idea. When we talk about hormones, all of us go to a different place in our mind as to what hormone we, we are trying to influence. So some of you guys who are trying to lose weight, when I say hormones, you think insulin. Um, if you're a man who's trying to build muscle, you might think, when I say hormones, you might think testosterone. And if you're a perimenopausal woman, I say hormone, and you might think estrogen and progesterone. So on this video, I'm really addressing all of you. I am addressing the man or the woman that wants to increase testosterone. I'm addressing the person who wants to balance insulin to lose weight. I'm addressing the perimenopausal woman who wants to figure out how to use fasting to help with estrogen and progesterone. And if you're postmenopausal, I am definitely addressing you and how do you work with the, the lower levels of hormones that you may be given in your postmenopausal years. So, and this is such a detailed detailed and complex subject that this is a series of videos, which is why I asked my team to take all these videos and put them in one playlist. It's called Fasting and Hormones, so you guys always know where to come and find this. On this video, as I take you through these six different steps, what I want you to know is that this is like the high level steps that you need, the information you need, before I can dive in and tell you, do this to balance estrogen, do this to balance testosterone. Those videos are coming. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you get those videos, come back to the playlist so you know where they are. And these are concepts that I'm really hoping are gonna help you think for yourself and identify which fast is best for you based off of your hormonal needs. So, okay, ready, let's start with step number one. Whenever you come to hormones, you have to think of hormones as a team. They do not work independently. So if you saw the video I did on adrenal fatigue, when your adrenals are not working right, it's not always just an adrenal problem. It can also be a hypothalamus and pituitary problem. Same thing if you're trying to raise testosterone, it's not necessarily an ovary or a testy issue. It can, it's also, we've got to look at the hypothalamus and pituitary. So there are a team of organs that work together to make sure that your hormones are in balance. And those are your brain, the actual endocrine organ itself, like thyroid or ovary, testes, adrenals, 
You've got the liver. So many times the liver has to metabolize the hormone to even make it usable by the cell. And you've got the cell that has to be open and receptive to take those hormones in. So I want to start off by just saying this is a team approach. And as I walk you through the other steps, you're gonna see how I pull in all the different team players into this picture. The other part of this first step is go back and make sure you understand the hormonal hierarchy. So if you wanna balance sex hormones, you're going to have to balance insulin. And if you wanna balance insulin, you're gonna to have to balance cortisol. If you wanna balance cortisol, you're gonna to have to get yourself a good dose of oxytocin. So I've done vi a video to date on oxytocin. Go watch that. I've done a video on cortisol and adrenal fatigue. Go watch that. Insulin, we're, I mean, we talk about insulin all the time on this channel. Most people come to fasting because they wanna balance insulin. Now we're gonna dive into these sex hormones. So you've gotta work with the, the hierarchy and you've gotta look at all of those organs I talked about. Okay, which is why we got a series going here so I can keep educating you so that you understand how to use these principles. Okay, so step number one is understand it's a teamwork approach. Step number two, they're hands down, fasting is absolutely the number one way to balance insulin. I don't care, I mean, if you, I could put all the experts on diet in this room and we could, we could all debate keto or carnivore or vegan, but the key to balancing insulin is to stop eating all day long. So we've got to start to shorten your eating window and lengthen your fasting window. If you are watching this video and you are a menopausal woman and your hair is falling out and you hot, have hot flashes and you're not sleeping, you, the, the foundation of what you need to do is start by managing insulin. And you do that by looking at building a fasting lifestyle. There are eight different fasts that I've taught you guys on this channel. When it comes to hormones, the most important part is that you're moving in and out of these different eight fasts. So this is why we do fast training week here so that you can have experience with each one of those. So we've got to manage insulin. If we're even going to have a, a, a step into managing estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. And you manage insulin by building a fasting lifestyle. I know I'm preaching to the choir. So many of you guys are so good at that. Step number three, you've got the teamwork idea. You are building yourself a fasting lifestyle to influence insulin. Now you've got to make the cells that receive the hormones, you've got to make them uh, hormone sensitive again. So a lot of you come to fasting because of insulin, you know you're insulin resistant, but you also may be estrogen resistant. A lot, most, doesn't matter what sex you are, we live in the most estrogen dominant world right now because of all the synthetic chemicals and it's making a lot of people estrogen resistant. Some of you may be testosterone resistant, progesterone resistant. You've got to have those, those receptor sites open to pull those hormones in, or it doesn't matter how many medications you take for that, that uh, thyroid gland or the, how many different medications you take like bioidenticals or HIT, HRT to balance your estrogen and your progesterone. You have to have the cells be open to receive it. So the key to getting those cells to open up is to lower inflammation. And this is where I like, I wish you all were in front of me because I would say, what fast lowers inflammation? Hopefully you know intermittent fasting is your door in, a daily intermittent fasting is a door in to starting to make those cells in, uh, hormone sensitive again. So again, we're building a fasting lifestyle, we're managing the team, we're getting you out of insulin resistance, and now as we repair those cells, we start to get you out of other hormonal resistance as well. Okay, step number four. This is a touchy one, so please take this with love. If you want to start to balance your sex hormones, one of the best things you can do is lose weight. And I say this because estrogen is stored in fat, mostly toxic estrogen. 
So if you are carrying extra uh, fat, you are carrying extra estrogen. When you are estrogen dominant, what happens is you tank progesterone and you tank testosterone. So we need to keep your estrogen at a balanced level. We do not want you to get out of balance with estrogen and these other sex hormones. So losing weight is key. Well, so many of you guys are doing that already here. Uh, if you're in our academy, this is what we're teaching you, how to use these principles to become a fat burner, how to use these principles to start to lose weight again. But losing weight will absolutely balance your sex hormones. And the best way to lose weight is to make yourself insulin sensitive again. The best way to make yourself insulin sensitive, you know the answer, start fasting build a fasting lifestyle. So do you see how these all hook together so that before you know it, you've got yourself in a groove where you're naturally uh, balancing hormones and you didn't even realize it. Okay, so that was step four. Okay, step five. Now this is really key for those of you that either have adrenal fatigue or if you're a woman over 40. And I would say, let me put a little side note on that, a woman between 40 and 55. So if you know your adrenals are tanked, if you know that you're in your perimenopause, menopause years, you need to know when to fast and when not to fast. I have done videos on that. I did two videos. One said uh, why a woman should fast and how a woman should fast. How a woman should fast will teach you how to fast around your cycle or in a menopausal woman's case, her ever changing cycle. If you are adrenal fatigued, go back and watch the video I did on how do you fast when you are adrenal fatigued. Those become key. If you are a 50 year old man and your testosterone is tanked and your adrenals are tanked, and I just start doing, building you a fasting lifestyle, if I don't take that six step process that I did, that I showed in my adrenal fatigue video, you're just going to tank your adrenals even more. So we can enter into these fasts when we're dealing with hormones, we can enter in, in a very systematic way. And that's what I'm trying to teach you guys so that you come out of your fasting experience feeling like a flipping rock star, like you've lost weight, you've balanced your hormones, you got your cortisol is under control. That's what we're looking to build for you. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to say is know the, the sixth thing is to know your hormonal hacks. So there is a term you're going to hear me talk about more and more, and it's called intermittent living. One of the challenges that we have in today's society right now is that we are too comfortable. We have food all day, we can, we can change lights in the room, we can change temperature in the room, we can prevent ourselves from being bored, we, are, we have oxygen coming in all the time. So there is a new term that's emerging called intermittent living. And I love this term because it's specific for hormones. If we can start to put some little stressors on your cells, like intermittent fasting or intermittent hypoxia or HIIT training, those of you that are HIIT, doing HIIT training, those little hormonal hacks will speed up the cellular healing, will power up your mitochondria and make your cells more uh, hormonal sensitive again. So I'm, as I move into the next video, I'm gonna teach you guys, I'm gonna do a video on estrogen and progesterone, and I'm gonna do a video on testosterone. In both of those videos, I will show you the little hormonal hacks you can use to make yourself hormonal sensitive again. But this video, this was the big picture video. Those other videos are coming with the science, so I'm excited to share those with you but they wouldn't make as much sense if you didn't have the big picture. So six things, play, t play fair with your hormones, give them a team, look at the team, make sure that you're building a fasting lifestyle, make sure you're doing the best you can to lose weight, make sure you know when to fast and when not to fast, and make sure you know your hormonal hacks. So I'm super excited to dive in this with you guys. This is the kind of stuff I'm teaching in my Reset Academy. So if you're needing more customization, come join me over there. 
Otherwise, let me know, does it help to go high level and give you a big picture and then work down into the details? I want to make sure when you come to my videos, you leave more informed and more uh, with, with better steps to build yourself a fasting lifestyle. It's not when we're dealing with hormones, it's not as simple as just let's start fasting. There's a lot of pieces to it. So as always, let me know. I hope that helps.